Good morning and welcome to Monday Minutes with Kelly and Jesse. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to show you the Galadriel plugin for libraries to use in their OPAC. And we have a special guest with us, Lucas. Hi, Lucas, and welcome. Hi. Hi so, so, Lucas, tell us a little bit about the Galadriel plugin and um, how it can work for libraries. So, the intention of Galadriel is to make OPAC customization a lot easier and to be able to be done without knowing CSS or JavaScript um, and to be able to play with your OPAC and make it fun. And who would the ideal user be for the Galadriel plugin? So the ideal user is a library who doesn't have a lot of customizations. If you have a lot of customizations already in place in your OPAC user CSS, um, and you try to use Gabriel, you may run into some problems and some conflicts. Um, you can still try it, of course, but it may not be advisable. So it's, it's for um, new to Koha libraries or um, libraries who are willing to get rid of their customizations or have very little customizations. Okay, great. That's great. That's great. Um, now, this is a plugin, and we've talked about plugins. Actually, we had a Monday Minutes a couple weeks ago about plugins and where to find them. Mm -hmm. So, this is another plugin that you can add to your site. We'll put the link in the blog. Um, but once you have put that plugin, you will actually be wowed by the number of things you can do on this plugin. So, I'm going to go over to the admin and just go to configure the Galadriel plugin. So it's already um, put into our system. You can see the Galadriel OPAC theme plugin. And I'm gonna go, go ahead and configure that. Okay, so now that we're in the uh, configuration, let's talk about some of the key features that we have. Number one is that box has to be checked in order for it to work. I can say that I have been <laughs> I'm one of those people who went through and set everything up, hit save and continue, and it didn't show. And I'm like, oh, Jesse, you must click that box. Um, me too. Me too. Okay, good. We're on the same page, Kelly. This is a, just a little bit of a safety switch for libraries who want to maybe play around and don't have a test site. Um, so you can try some things, and if it's not doing what you expected to do, you can uncheck that and nothing in Galadriel will, will um, take effect. That, that's a great feature. Yeah. That's a great feature right there. And you know, one would recommend maybe if you wanna do this, do this after hours. If you don't have a test site, best to probably do that while hopefully not too many patrons are using your OPAC. Okay, um, the first area, super fun. If you don't have a header, or you don't have a, your logo on your OPAC at all, you can actually add your logo, logo, and how big it is on the OPAC. That's pretty cool, right? Should we try that? Let's try it. Okay, let me, Jesse sent me a Bywater um, logo. So then I'm gonna click, and then I can pick the height and the width. So this is 125. And of course, this is all something you can play around with to see if it fits up at the top. And I love that you can hit save and then go back to your OPAC and just see how it looks. You can do little changes as you go. You don't have to do the whole screen to start with. Okay, so I'm gonna save and, and see how it looks. No, <gasps> all right. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> I'd constantly do this, like refresh in one page and then come back and make I agree. some more changes. So that's a great size. So I think we're good there. Okay, perfect. Okay, what's another fun part to the plugin, Lucas? What's a fun part for you? The color, the background? The background and colors. The colors are all very uh, self-explanatory, I would say. Uh, the logo can be changed to not every color, but there's a couple colors as, the, uh, as those images live in your Koha installation. Perfect. So, Change in between green, mm -hmm. uh, black, and white. So this background, this first background, is for the whole thing, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. So 
right, I did the, um, oops, I didn't do the background. See, I did it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good example. Good example. Good trying out there, Kelly. All right. It's so pretty. And you made the Kohawk logo green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks and good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So more colors, navigation bar, where you hover, that those are kind of people don't realize what that means. Yeah, um, if you go back to the OPEC, um, you see when you click on that list, or when you hover on that list, the actual text turns green. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the hovers. And the other one is um, that green bar you see when you hover on each element within that list. Yeah, so you can not have a black on top of a darker color. Mm -hmm. and, and the last one, which says carrot color, is um, oh, yeah. very little subtle triangle that you see on the on, on yeah. those places. You can actually change the color of that. I like your save and continue hovers there. It's nice. It's so it's so it's so oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. So there you go. It's little red. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so definitely there's a lot of color options at the top. You can really play around with that search bar, the links, all that. After that, ooh, then you have, I've, I like to show off these search results to really get in here and play around. One of my personal favorites is turn action buttons, action items into buttons. Yeah. Did we see what it looks like before? Yes, yes. This is a big one, I think. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I don't think people know how much power this has. Okay, so there is, this is what we mean by action items. So you could make these buttons. Okay. So I'm going to click that. Oh, beautiful. Really. I love that. I love that. Jesse, what's one feature on the Galadriel plugin that you like? I like normalizing the cover um, height and width in the search results. Nice. Here. So you mm -hmm. can choose a good size that all your covers will stay consistent. Yeah. What's good height and width, Lucas, from yours? 150 by 100? Yeah, I think that's a good standard width and height. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a little. Let's go with dog now. My favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> there we go. It's thinking. Oh, there we go. So now they're all around. You can kind of see a little bit if it, if it was a little off that it all now looks, mm -hmm. all the covers line up next to each other, which is nice versus having different various sizes. This is so cool. You have a lot of hide options too, right, Lucas? You can hide different things. A lot of things in the search results can be, um, can be hidden. Um, yeah. Types, publishers. Um, publishers, material type. <gasps> Kelly, why don't you try clicking one or two of those just so we can show them how easy it is. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try, I'll, I'll click a whole bunch. Okay. Material type. Sometimes people don't like the material type to show, oh, look at how quick and easy that was. Right, and now you don't see addition. Some of these had additions, even if they were blank, they still showed. Yeah. So you're really, I think narrowing in on what your user is seeing on this first page. Yeah. Um, and that's really helpful because you're getting the information that's best out there is the location, the availability, mm -hmm. and then these big action buttons, which I love. I love it. I love it. But if I went into it, then you're going to see all the details. Yeah. Just kind of getting that information, um, streamlining it. Oh, we can also hide the labels there too, which is nice. So that won't hide the actual content of each one of those pieces, but it will hide the label. And some of these things are self-explanatory. Um, so, so maybe you don't need labels. It helps make a cleaner look. Let's see. Yeah. On the, 
search results. There we go. <gasps> oh. Is this just for the search results too, Lucas? Or if I go into the... Currently, it's just for the search results. Hopefully in the future, we will also include the OPAC details page. Oh, and wow. I had no idea. I learned something new today. This is awesome. This is yeah. really awesome. Um, I started with a very plain looking white OPAC, and now I have a little bit of a customization. I get some color of my logo. Um, and it's really fun. This is awesome. This is great. Well, Lucas, thank you for joining us this week on another um, edition of Monday Minutes. Uh, if any of our viewers out there are interested in installing the plugin, um, we will include the GitHub uh, link. Of course, you could submit a ticket if you're one of our partners, and we'll be happy to install that plugin for you and help you get started. Yeah, so have fun with it. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Have a great Bye -bye. week.